Hi everyone, Rick here. I've got something a little bit different for you today. I built this table not too long ago, a couple of three years ago, and I never put anything on it. And it ended up getting a little bit dirty and looking a little bit worse for wear, so I decided to put some protection on it and make it look a bit better. I gave, I washed it with sugar soap or trisodium phosphate. I gave it a good sand and I put a first coat. So this video is just showing you how I've actually put the last finish on there and make it really nice and smooth. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, it's not a window or a, a wooden door that we're going to be putting a finish on today. It's actually a table that I made for our pizza area here out of because I had extra floorboards. I've already got one coat of polyurethane on it and it looks pretty good. As I've mentioned before, the first coat that goes onto your timber. Even though your timber is really, really smooth, it goes in, it swells, and it hardens that way. So if I rub my hand across there now, it's pretty rough. And here's the thing. It's only the first coat that raises the grain. It doesn't happen after that. So your second coat, so your second coat is going to be super, super smooth. And it comes down to how you sand. And in most cases, I use 180 before I put on the final coat of polyurethane. And it needs a pretty good sand, but if you rub your hand across there, then you Give that a bit of a sand and then rub your hand across it and it's so, so smooth. Well, that's how your last finish of polyurethane is going to finish. It's going to be nice and smooth. So even though this table looks really nice, it's just as rough as guts. So we're going to put a second coat on this and as soon as I finish this, I'll show you how I go about putting the, the last finish coat on. Okay, now there's a fair bit of dust on there, so we need to get rid of some of that dust. It's not super crucial, but really it's just a cotton rag and just give it a wipe and you'll see all these other shows and things and you use all kinds of things and washing down and tack rags and seriously it's not that necessary. And here's the thing. That's perfect, just the way it is. If you're, periodically your rag is going to get full of dust, so you just give it a shake and continue onward. And really, that's all that's required to wipe down something. Okay, let's finish this puppy. Sanded and dusted, smooth, it's ready for the final coat. Now I'm always telling you, work out of a, a separate can, don't work out of a full can. This can is about half full, it's about there. This is a painter's trick. Uh, most paints in the world, no matter what you buy, is too thick straight from the can. So whatever paint that you have, water-based or oil-based, you know, thin it out a little tiny bit, particularly on the first coat of anything. In this case, because it's obviously an oil-based product, I've drizzled a little bit of Terps or paint thinner on the top of this, and I just stir it in with my brush so I don't bring it up from the bottom and mix the whole thing. It's just that top surface, maybe about an inch. It's just one of those little painter's tricks that you pick up along the way. Every project you have, there's a system to doing it more there's a system to do it in the most efficient and quick way. Uh, for me, I look at the table, I think, okay, I'm going to paint the tops first. I will then paint the aprons, which are underneath the top of the table, and the very last things I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the, the legs down. Some of you will notice I've got a very small <laughs> brush, and yes, this brush is way too small for this table. But here's the thing, I've been doing this 40 years, I can do this table with that little tiny brush. But the reason I'm doing it, one, is because I think I'm lazy these days, but two, is because I'm also doing these chairs you can't see behind you. And I flood that on. For those that you, I'm actually right-handed, but I don't have that option at the moment.
take note. I'm slopping it on there. Doesn't matter how you put it on there first. And then you brush it out. Nice long strokes. You notice I'm doing the tap. If you don't know what the tap is, that's the tap. If you want to know why I do the tap and why it's going to speed your painting up, probably 100 to 1,000 percent. Get on over to my my website, and I got a little video that explains exactly why you do the tap. is pretty much it for the tops. I just got the the aprons to do and the legs and all done. <laughs>